Through authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. 644, and we are looking good on this Halloween morning. Let me check around here. We were seeing some creepy figures around here. Just making sure everything's A-OK. -okay. I think I feel pretty safe right now. Things are uh, looking a little safer. Maybe, maybe he's out in the backyard. That's probably waiting for me to go out there at 7 o'clock. <laughs> That's downtown Owensboro. As we take a look at what's going on from Deaconess Gateway, our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera. And, of course, that is looking down upon 66 and 69, the interchange there. Things are looking pretty good if you could stand all the cloud cover. Don't really have a whole lot of rain out there right now, but we are going to be seeing the chance really throughout the day. Here's our Superior Ag camera on top of Fifth Third Bank looking at the old courthouse front and center. And we've got ourselves a little bit of traffic out there on the the Lloyd Expressway. Uh, as, far, as far as the uh, temperature goes right now at the airport, uh, it is 60 degrees and uh, the wind south southwest at 10 miles an hour. Uh, as far as the wind goes, we're, we're seeing a pretty good wind out there. It's going to be 5 to 15 miles an hour as far as that goes throughout the day. And if you look by Michael Myers' head, that is a Tell City, uh, the 61 degree temperature there. Uh, Michael, if you could go over here to Henderson, can you get over there? Show the temperature there. Why don't you use your uh, sword there to get the temperature in Carmine? <laughs> 61 degrees there. And, <laughs> and hey, help me out here, buddy. All right, three, two, one. Easy with that sword. Funky! Today's funky fruit, it's not Michael Myers, but it's a creepy face, pepper right there. There are the eyes, there's the nose. Look at those cheeks. And you got like a jaw right there. Looks like he's frowning a little bit. I don't blame him. When you got something that creepy right next to you, you can be, you look, he's cutting another slice of that pepper. Uh, as long as he's not cutting a slice of me, I'm good. Uh, right now, you can see a little bit of rain out there on live first warning down off the radar. We are going to be seeing these rain showers popping up throughout the day. Right now, west of the Wabash for the most part, but as we zoom in, you can see even a heavier pocket of rain. And Michael, can you get, he's blocking it, but I mean, behind Michael Myers' head, that's where we have a moderate rain shower there north of New Harmony. It's trucking to the northeast, and it's going to be moving into Gibson County here fairly soon. Uh, this is a look right now at rainfall estimates over the past 24 hours. We had, I mean, a decent rain yesterday at the Evansville Airport, better than a half an inch. And you can see we've got uh, plotches of green out there along the Wabash, really from Wabash County on down through Posey County. And that's where the heaviest rain was, better than an inch of rain there. Again, better than a half an inch at the airport. So pretty good dousing there. All right, here's that area of low pressure pretty much right on top of St. Louis. The heavier rain is over to the east by Michael Myers and his sword, uh, but we are seeing uh, just the rain showers, just light rain showers. And even where we don't see on radar a little bit of rain, there could be some mist and drizzle out there today, too. Let's go ahead and time it out for trick-or-treaters on this future track. Uh, as we go through the morning, best chance of rain west of the Wabash, but you can see the showers kind of spread out a little bit more to the east as we head into the late morning, early afternoon hours. Just a few scattered showers out there. That's going to be the best chance of rain, middle of the day. Then we start to see more breaks in the clouds. We should see some sunshine. By 4 o'clock, a lot of folks will be getting out there trick-or-treating. Still a chance for a few showers, especially east of 41. Uh, but really by 6, 7 o'clock, maybe a couple of sprinkles out there, but things are looking a whole lot better. Get me out of here. Here's my forecast for today. Calling for a high temperature of 65 degrees. Clouds and some sunshine. A few showers out there. Cool, yep. Uh, but still, not bad. Temperature's basically in the 60s throughout the day. Southwest wind's going to shift to the west at 5 to 15 miles an hour. On the three degree guarantee, called for a high of 67 degrees. Uh, it was 69 on Friday, and we got ourselves a winner, a three degree guarantee winner. Let's hear it for Kim Rogers of Lewisport. Congratulations, Kim. You've got yourself an umbrella courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. And as we take a look at the next seven days, temperatures are going to be uh, warming up into the low 70s tomorrow. We're going to clear out for the most part tonight. Just a few clouds out there tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be uh, in the 70s, mid 70s by later on this week, 75 degrees on Friday. And really by the time the weekend, rolls around. We got slight chances for rain on Saturday. Same goes for on Sunday. So yeah, I mean, not looking too bad. Really, this is the worst day of the bunch, but it's Halloween. So, you know, we got yeah. to we go with what I we got. I have a special do we have? Do we have a... Yes. Are you giving this to me? You're giving Mr. that to me? Thank you. My <laughs> handy game to calendar. Thank oh, you so much. Please, you didn't slice it up. Go. That's a good Appreciate thing right it. there. No, no right. machete uh, in your hand this time. That's <laughs> yeah, good. That's a good thing. <laughs> Keep that machete out of that dude's hands. Uh, it's the 31st. Of course, it's Halloween of October. Mm -hmm. It is also Caramel Apple Day. Ooh. And it is also Knock Knock Joke Days. I got a oh. Knock Knock Joke for you. Okay. Knock Knock. Who's there? Knock Knock. How about that? Knock Knock. <laughs> there you go. Who's there? Interrupting Ghost. Interrupting Ghost. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> okay. There you go. You didn't do a je dad joke yet today. I know. I got sidetracked. Oh, man. One, we got well, we had well, one one a special one visitor. <laughs> we'll, we'll double up on our next hour coming up. There you go. We've got the latest on the forecast and other headlines to get you through this.
Monday, but first we want to go back to the Willard Library. Are we going back? Yes. yes. This is the children's story room for our Halloween stakeout of the infamous Grey Lady Ghost. Are we going to spot her today? We hope so. Stay with us.